So, files and folders. Very cool topic, very useful. If you're planning on writing good automated testing frameworks, you will need to utilize files and folders in different ways. You may need to parse them. You may need to move things around for different automated tests. Very useful. And the idea behind these skills can transfer over to any kind of automated testing framework, whatever tools you may be using. So the goals for this module are that you will be able to create and write data to text files. You will be able to open and process data stored in text files. And finally, you should be able to copy, move, delete files and folders. So in VBScript, there is a runtime object that allows you to work with files and folders. And that is called the file system object. In order to work with any files and folders, the first thing that you have to do is instantiate this object. And let me show you how to instantiate it. Let me quickly look to see if there's actually a snippet in UFT. There is not. No problem. So this right here, the statement is called instantiating an object. It's also known as creating an object. In if you guys are familiar with other programming languages, it's kind of similar, the same thing as something like that using the new keyword. And what instantiating does is it puts the reference of this object into some kind of variable, whatever you want it to be. So let me, so when you do this, this variable will now give you access to a whole bunch of methods and so on for the file system object, methods and properties. So check it out. If I push the period here, look, now it gives me all of these properties. And you can see, for example, if I want to come here, build path, generate a path from an existing path and the name. I can copy a file. I can copy a folder, create folder. I can get a file. Check out get file. So for example, if I select this and then I pass in the path of the file, it will return me some file. And now with that file, I would be able to do things. So do you guys see with this object here, the file system object stored inside of a variable, I can begin to manipulate the file system. That is step number one. 